Storyline has a really neat feature called markers that allow you to create a quick and easy click and reveal interaction on really any slide in your course. Like we see here, I've got these markers on my slide and the learner can click or hover to reveal some additional content. So let's see how this works. I'm going to close the preview here and what we want to do is come up to the insert tab and then choose marker. That's going to give us this nice long list of all these different symbols that we can choose from. Once you find the one you want to use, you can just click on it and that's going to change your cursor to this little cross here and then you can click where you want your marker to appear. And if you don't like that location after a while, you can move it to some other place. You can just click and drag like you would with any other object. Now once you add your marker, you'll see this label appear and you can enter a title up here at the top. You can also enter you know, some descriptive text if you want learners to see that when they open up your label. And by default, what's going to happen is when the learner hovers over the marker, uh, just the title is going to appear. And if they click, then the whole marker is going to appear. But you can change that behavior and we'll see how to do that in a second. One of the nice features about labels is that you can resize these really easily. Like if you want to be bigger or smaller, that's easy to do. You can also change where they're located. Like I probably wouldn't want this one to open up above this text here. So I would just click and drag and now it's going to open up down here below my marker instead of above it. So once you're finished, you know, customizing your marker and your label, you can click anywhere outside of the label and then you're done and you can keep adding as many more markers as you want. But let's go back for a minute and talk a little bit more about formatting. The cool thing is everything about the look of your marker and your label is customizable. So what you can do is select it and then up here on the format tab, you've got lots of options. There's some quick styles here. You can click on the arrow to see all of them. So you can pick one of these if you want, or you can go for a custom fill for the, the fill or the border. You can change these to custom colors or even a different color for your icon if you would like to do that. Oops, that doesn't look very good. I'm going to change that to a little bit lighter color. And the same is true for the labels. So I've got quick styles here if I want to change these to look different or I can go for a custom color for the fill or the border. And for the label, I can also use this apply to all option if I have maybe customized my label and now I want that same set of customizations to apply to all the labels on the current slide. Another nice shortcut is that if I formatted a marker and its label and I want to use that same look for every new marker that I add, I can right click on it and then choose set as default marker. And now watch what happens. If I choose insert marker, it's going to give me that same look for every new marker that I add to my course. So this looks just like the one that we just created. Okay, another thing that you can do is switch out the icon after the fact. So I've got this selected and then up on the format tab, I can use change icon and make this look very different with a different icon. I can also customize the animation that gets applied. And here's where I can control the behavior of my marker and my label. If I want everything to show up when the learner hovers rather than making them click, I would mark this option. Or if I wanted my marker to be audio only with no label, then I would choose this option. Now, speaking of audio, let's see how we can add sound or a picture or a movie to our marker. Up here in the Format tab, what we're going to do is select Sound, and this allows us to either bring in sound from a file that we've recorded elsewhere, or we can record right in Storyline if we want to do that. And with this Media button, you can also add a picture if you want to do that, or you've got several options for movies. You can bring in a movie from a file. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. I've got a movie here, an MP4 that we can add, and you can format this with a play bar or whatever if you want. Or you can add a movie from a website like Vimeo, YouTube, Screener. You can even record your webcam if you want to include a movie of yourself. So another option that uh, sometimes people want to do with their markers is customize the text. So let's talk about that. The fonts that get used here for the title and the description are going to come from your theme fonts. So if you want to change all the markers in your course to use different fonts, what you can do is switch to a different theme. Up here in the Design tab, you've got this Fonts drop-down, and then you can opt for a different theme. But if you do that, just be aware that it's going to change other aspects of your course, too. So the Heading font and the body font are going to be used in different places throughout your course, and you might not want that. So you can also just select Text and then come up here to the Home tab and then you know alter the font, the size, the formatting or whatever. So that's another option if you don't want to change everything throughout your course. You can make the ch changes directly to the label itself. So that's a little bit about how to insert and customize markers in Articulate Storyline.